Hello everybody and welcome back to another Chainsaw Man video. Today we are covering Chainsaw Man chapter 161, the sixth week, week straight sorry, that Tatsuki Fujimoto has released a Chainsaw Man chapter and we have another one coming next week. And this is the longest chapter we've had in this streak with I believe 17 or 16 pages in this chapter. I know that's not a hell of a lot but it's more than we've been getting in recent weeks. And Boy, is this a crazy chapter. I mean, we at least have the current death of Denji in this chapter confirmed. Obviously, we can assume that will not stay that way, but for now, Denji is dead. The chapter starts with the scientists or whatever, the surgeons completing the surgery, essentially the dismemberment of Denji, and boom... Everybody runs in. You can see that Asa is in her Yoru form. Yoru's taken over. Katana Man's there and Fami's there in the back as well. Uh, Yoru's like, tell us where Chainsaw Man is or die. And the surgeons reveal that the Chainsaw Man boxes have fallen over. Meaning that the dismemberment is complete and that each part of Denji's body have been thrown into boxes. And, of course, that means that the members of our crew, or can you really call them our crew? Um, I suppose you kind of can, because um, Katana Man's there and a, a couple of evil bastards are there. But, for the most part, it is our crew in terms of Yoru and Fami. And they proceed to take apart the boxes and look at all of the parts. Of course they do. Um, and, yeah... <sighs> That box gets kicked open and they find Denji's hand. Look at the, 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 the fact that they treat gore in this series so just casually. Like, it's just such a chill thing, man. That, oh, Denji's hand is just chilling on the floor. Whoa, it's a hand. You know what I mean? Like, that is a serious thing, man. That's a dismembered hand chilling on the floor and nobody seems to care. Yoru says, hey, humans, because of course she's a bloody devil, I order you to connect his body parts. Because if you can't obey me, you'll die. Now move it. And they proceed to open every box. Look at his legs, man. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can show this on YouTube, man. It's disgusting. Look at look, his hand, his elbow. Look, they're all, like, all of the parts. Look at his heart. Denji's heart is, oh my god, that's connected obviously by the string. And he's holding the string like his bloody heart is a yo-yo. Like, that is so disgusting, man. Oh my god. Denji's heart is just chilling in a box. Not anymore, because it's in this bloody random NPC guy's hand. Incredible. Uh, Yoru says that if that's the heart, then they can stick his body back together by starting his engine. That is actually true, to be fair, which, again, means that Denji isn't fully dead, but... As you can see, his body's um, pretty dead right now. Let's just say that. So, yeah, right now Denji is pretty much dead. Well, so <laughs> He's not pretty much dead. Denji is dead right now. Uh, and Yoru says she's wounded, a.k.a. she doesn't have one of her arms because bloody Asa blew it off. But, um, yeah, they, they continue to find parts of his body... This guy finds Denji's cock and <laughs> asks if he can stick it back on. And Katana Man says, no, shove it up his arse. <laughs> You're not getting this from any other manga series on the planet right now. I'm sorry. Especially a really popular like shonen one. Like, mate, you do not have an, any other manga series on the planet right now that has a dismembered main character... <laughs> whose cock is in someone's hand and a katana man is asking them to shove it up his arse. <laughs> what is this manga man? Anyway, this is 100% getting demonetized. Um, Jesus, I'm not even fucking monetized yet, sorry. Um, put every piece back in its proper place, says Yoru. I want Chainsaw Man in perfect condition when I fight him, else my victory will be meaningless. Very similar to Makima's standpoint uh, with, with when she wanted to fight Denji, which basically means to me that the devil's all think in a similar way. Um, can't you take a joke? You must have no game. I don't need game. Love is worthless. All it does is turn you foolish, says Yoru. Quite mental. Um, 
Oh honey, it's fun to be a fool, what a shame. You probably don't get it because you're still in school. She's definitely not. She's a bloody devil. Um, such an immature little devil, says this weird old brain hybrid. Um, and here we go. This guy finds Denji's head. And the next panels, oh my goodness. But anyway, yeah, it's human form, his head. Everyone's like, let me see. Oh my god, this is real Chainsaw Man's head. And this guy's like, wait a now, Asa. Um, this is your quote-unquote boyfriend. And boom. Denji's chopped off head. Bloody hell. And Asa, of course, immediately switches back from Yoru. And she is completely shocked. As anyone would be, of course. Um, it, it is a really... It is stunning, to be honest. It is... What the hell is this manga, honestly? Like, the gore... Yes, the blood is gore. But there's more than that. Like, this is uncomfortable, man. But, like, kind of, like, goofy at the same time. But I think that's part of the charm of it. Um, but regardless, disgusting. Of course it is. Um, and Asa is completely shocked. And this guy comes in and orders to kill everyone in the room right now. And, of course, who is he giving the order to? None other than our favourite hybrid, Quan Chi, is back. Yes, she is. Incredible. Very exciting. Um, this this arc is just absolutely incredible. Like, I thought it was maybe going to hit a snag in terms of, like, I thought it was going to take ages for them to find Denji in this facility or whatever. But, no, we kind of sped up, right? Like, this week sped up massively for Fujimoto. He decided to have the interactions with Denji straight away, which is good. I want the story moving fast. Especially when we're on a weekly schedule. This feels like it's moving so quickly right now. And I can't praise Fujimoto enough for that. Because I think pacing is the most important thing in a manga or an anime series. And I think he's executing it perfectly right now. Quan Chi is probably going to fight. And it's probably going to be defeated. I'm sorry, but... Can Quan Chi fight against Yoru, even even though she's got one arm, um, and Katana Man, and all the fake Chainsaw Mans? Probably not. I don't think so. Um, but obviously, listen, Quan Chi returning is cool, but the number one talking point, of course, is Denji, and how the bloody hell we get him back to life, because right now, he is dead. And this poor boy has gone through an incredible amount. I'm probably going to make a video on Denji's despair and his quote-unquote pain uh, and what he's been through in life. Because even as his childhood was so terrible and awful, uh, and you can feel terrible for him and really bad for that, of course you can. It's a horrible, a horrible harrowing backstory. But make no mistake, what has happened in his teenage life is really, really bad as well. Like everything in terms of like the the dream being so shallow and then the the thing that centers around the dream obviously being women just basically ruining his life like and now having his body completely chopped apart like this is absolute insanity the poor boy cannot seem to catch a break not just from you know just you know the whole makima stuff and that but right now he is like, nobody is on his side, essentially. Even Asa, who likes Denji. Yoru is within Asa, who hates Denji and wants to kill him. Like, nobody is truly on his side. And I ask the question, is Pochita even on his side? I think we'll find that out at the end of the series. I think that is a really interesting plot point. But I think Chainsaw Man right now is absolutely brilliant. It's going from strength to strength. And I can't wait for next week, where if something is available to talk about i will certainly get on here make a video and chat about the incredible series that is currently chainsaw man i'm going to leave a couple of videos on the screen for you if you'd like to check them out if you'd also like to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and hit that noti bell as well it would mean the world to me thank you so much for watching and goodbye